Lord Jesus, I come before you and I bow my knee before you. You are God of all the earth and you are the God of times and seasons. You lift up kings and you demote kings. You have ordained this moment. I, like a locust, jump into this moment. We jump into this moment, Lord. We have learned the lesson of the locust. We jump into this moment. We forget the past. We are future controlled. We live in the high places of the earth. And what you're putting us for 2018, like the spider, we shall release it. Oh, I give you glory. That which you're putting me for the people tonight, like the spider, I release it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Oh, can somebody shout hallelujah? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, let's turn our Bibles to Malachi chapter 4. Stay standing. Stay standing, break it, take shape. Malachi chapter 4. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Malachi chapter 4. Shataburubu Sintaramanda. Vede bede beshikurubu siti. Itere bede shikata. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Malachi 4. Have you found it? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of the Lord. Okay, let's read it. Malachi chapter 4, reading from verse 1 to 3. It says, For behold, the day cometh, that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly, shall what? Shall become burned like stubble, and the day shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, and he shall not leave them, neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth, and go as calves of the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In that day I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Can somebody shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Let's take our seats. Jesus. Hallelujah. The winds of the spirits are blowing. The winds of divine change are blowing. Blowing across the nations of the earth. Blowing across the continents of the earth. Blowing across the cities of the earth. Great change has come to the planet. And the God that we serve is a God of times and seasons. He's a God who prescribes certain actions during certain seasons. The word of God describes to us that in the fullness of time, Jesus was born of a woman. So there was a scheduled time for Jesus Christ to be born. There was a scheduled time for the church to be born. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, we were all in one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were, because it was a scheduled time. Well, I've come to prophesy to you that there is a scheduled time that has now come when the Lord shall increase the heat on the planet earth and the heat on the planet earth is going to increase exponentially and because the heat on the planet earth is going to increase there shall be a shaking on the planet for the bible says for the god that we serve he says yet once more i will shake the earth i will shake the heavens and the earth so that that which cannot be shaken will remain because right now there is a mighty shaking on the planet because our god 
is a consuming fire. So the fire of God is about to burn on the earth. It's not just going to burn, hallelujah, burn for the saints, but it's going to burn against the wicked. It's going to do what? It's going to burn against the wicked. So the earth is about to experience oven like conditions. He says the day shall come that the earth shall burn like an oven. Well, I've come to prophesy to you that in 2018 we shall see a literal manifestation of this that the earth shall burn like an oven and the wicked shall be burned to stubble Amen. there will be corporations there will be businesses there will be politicians there will be ministers that will be so burnt by what is happening that they will not remain not even the root he says the wicked shall burn like stubble, even the root and the branch. Oh, and the Lord took me in the realm of the spirit. And he said, Andre, you already have started to see it happen at the end of 2017. He said, I have released a spirit on the earth. He says, it's the spirit of exposure. He said, that is why women are coming out of the woodwork. You did this to me. <laughs> you did this to me. He said, because, he says that spirit is going to go all around the earth. He says, there's, it's not only going to be exposure in the area of sexual harassment, but things that people have hidden. Oh my God. Things that people have what? Hidden. Things that have been hidden shall be exposed. He says, there shall be the burning hot of oven like conditions that shall cause things that have been on the earth for a long time shall totally crumble hallelujah hallelujah oh and the lord spoke to me he said, there are three things coming to the nations of the earth. He said, 2017 shall be a year of disruptive innovations. Hallelujah. Disruptive innovations. Disruptive innovations. What are disruptive innovations? Innovations, hallelujah, innovations is solving all problems with new solutions. Innovation is thinking outside of the box of history to solve all problems with new solutions. He says, 2017 shall see the rise of what? Disruptive innovations. What are disruptive innovations? Disruptive innovations are innovations that cause an entire industry to shut down while a new industry rises. Oh, many of you, hallelujah, knew when we were growing up that the most wonderful thing to get sometimes as a part, as a present was a watch. Oh, hallelujah. And we all knew about the wonderful Swiss watchmakers. Where are the Swiss watchmakers now? The Swiss watchmakers are what? History. Because of the rise of the cell phone. Jesus. Oh, most of you don't wear a watch. Because you tell time with what? Your cell phone. So the rise of the cell phone killed the watch industry. It killed what? The watch industry. How many of you used to have your Kodak camera? Oh, how many of you used to have what? Your Kodak camera to take some pictures. What's up with the Kodak cameras? Oh, what happened? The rise of the cell phone. I say the rise of the cell phone. So the rise of the cell phone and the cameras on the cell phone created what's called a what? A disruptive innovation. So what it did, a disruptive innovation is an innovation that creates customers for a product whilst causing customers to leave another product. And that product goes what? Down. Oh, how many of you remember when you used to come, hallelujah, you used to walk about in town with your Walkman. You used to walk about in your town with your CD player. I tell you, 
But then I remember going to Walmart and seeing these small things called iPods and seeing these things and wonder who's going to buy them. I'm still going to buy my CD player and my Walkman. It was just about time. Somebody say it was just a few days. Hallelujah. And guess what happened? What happened? The rise, the rise of the iPod. Hallelujah. Totally killed the Walkman industry. Totally killed the CD player industry. Totally did it. Oh, but what about something else? Oh, who remembers? Who remembers? Who remembers? When, hallelujah, when if you wanted to watch TV, if you wanted to watch movies, then all you then you had to go down to what? The local video store. I said the local video store. Right now, you don't need no local video store. You just need your smart TV. I said you need your what? Your smart TV. You can put YouTube on there. You can put streaming movies there. And you can watch fresh movies. Are you with me? Remember when you wanted to watch a movie? You had to go to the cinema. Let me tell you, every latest movie that comes out that you want to watch, you can watch it for free on the net. If you know what site to go on and stream it on your smart TV with cinema sound, sit down, eat your own popcorn and enjoy it watching it for free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's called what? A disruptive innovation. Well, let me tell you. The Lord spoke to me. He says, disruptive innovations are going to gather pace in 2017 that's going to put a lot of people in certain countries out of jobs because there is a rise of something called the Internet of Things. <laughs> There's a rise of something called artificial intelligence, which means that the people are not going to be required to answer phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because rataka, because they're going to cause the devices to talk to each other. Hallelujah. Are you with me? So the Lord spoke to me and said, the rise of disruptive innovations is going to cause yeah, 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 yeah. chaos. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's going to cause what? Chaos in certain parts of the world. Oh, hallelujah. It's certain part of the world. Hallelujah. We were having a meeting. Hallelujah. And we were having a meeting. It was on Saturday. Hallelujah. How we we're having an a actual board meeting with our business. And we were discussing one of our products. Hallelujah. That we're going to sell to the Caribbean. And I smiled when my wife said, My God, if we sell that product, hallelujah, a lot of people are going to lose jobs. A lot of people are going to lose jobs. Because that product, hallelujah, if we sell that product to every island of the Caribbean, to the particular industry, believe you me, at least 500 or 1,000 jobs will go. Because when you have that device, you don't need those people to do it anymore. Whether we sell it or not, hallelujah, I've come to tell you that the era of disruptive innovations has come and it's going to increase on the earth and they're going to be winners and losers. I said they're going to be what? Winners and losers. So the Lord spoke to me. Hallelujah. He said, number one, there's going to be a spirit of exposure. Jesus. Oh, I'm talking about the nations first. There's going to be what? A spirit of exposure. My God. People are going to come now there are going to be some liars in it you're always going to have liars but let me tell you the era of the whistleblower has come hey. believe you me there's going to be a spirit that rises where people say i don't care if you kill me kill me she cut out but i am opening my mouth and i'm talking about the oppression. Jesus. And it's going to cause people, nations, governments, companies to fall. You thought you've seen resignations? You haven't seen it yet. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. I said, you ain't seen it yet. You ain't seen it yet. Mambrobo shevre ketekeshe. It's going to even hit places that you will not think of. Because it's a spirit that's been released in the earth. Shikata basadaba. Ishata. And it shall gather pace. I said it shall do what? It shall gather pace. La ma 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 mo shekete rebe. Next thing, what? Disruptive innovations. God told me the year 2007 shall be a year, 2018 shall be a year of disruptive innovations. Then he said, he said 2018 shall be a year. Now let's turn to that scripture. Next scripture. It says, mystery number one. Let's turn to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11 to 12. It says, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. For I, wisdom, deal with prudence and find out knowledge of what? Witty inventions. Witty inventions. There is going to be an explosion of witty inventions. Inventions on a level and a par that we have not seen before. And it's going to change the way we do life. And it's going to put some people out of business and it's going to create new business for people. Jesus. Labro Seve Bede. Labro Masheke Esevere. 2018. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two. Mission number two. He says, the next one is this. The Lord told me, he says, 2018 shall be the year where. The master and the slave shall dance as one. I said, what? He says, the master and the slave shall dance as one. And I said, what do you mean? He says, the master and the former slave. He says, this is the year. This is the year where former slaves... <laughs> he says a famine is going to call a famine is going to cause the slave to be released from prison and the slave shall join with the master and they shall eat at the table of brotherhood that is this is a year when oppressed people who have mined the gold in them shall be delivered and they and Pharaoh shall become one See, because Joseph was a slave. He was a slave. He was a slave. But because of the famine, I said because of what? Because of the famine, he got called. So let me tell you, there are people groups. There are people who have been at the bottom. My God. I said they have been at the bottom. 2018 is a year where you're going to see people who have been at the bottom take a sudden rise and sit at the same table with those that have been ruling the earth forever. My God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, Joseph has been getting himself ready. Joseph has been in a prison. Joseph has been in a tight spot. He has been serving what God has given him in a contained place. But I've come to prophesy to you that Joseph is going to be called into the king's court. And when Joseph presents his solution, the former slave, the former economic slave, the former financial slave, the former slave shall dance as one with the master. Yes. You are going to see some people rise up that you've never heard before because Joseph is about to emerge. Oh, somebody say Joseph. Somebody say Joseph. Is about to emerge. Oh, you see, because Joseph is gifted, Joseph is anointed, 
Joseph has just been contained by the demonic. But he's been contained for such a time as this. I said he's been contained for what? Such a time as this. And Joseph is going to be needed. Because God is going to create a problem that requires Joseph. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. God is going to create a problem that requires Joseph. God is going to create a problem that the master cannot solve. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to see the rise of not just people, families, even ethnic groups. They are going to rise because they have something that the master needs and the master and them are going to become one. Oh, let's read this scripture. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Let's turn to the mystery number two. Hallelujah. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and brought him hastily out of the dungeon. He saved himself and changed his raiment and came unto Pharaoh. Let's read it together. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I've dreamed a dream and there's no one that can interpret it. I have heard it say that thou can understand a dream to interpret it. And he answered Joseph and said, Is it not in, it's not in me, but God will give thee an answer of peace. Next scripture. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a man in whom is the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has shown you, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house. Oh, Lord. Some say the former slave. Some say the former tail has now become one with the head. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Can somebody shout in this place? Woo. I said, can somebody shout in this place? My God. Hallelujah. And he says, and let's read it together. And according unto thy word, Shall all the people be ruled? Only in the throne would I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I've set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring and put it on who? Joseph's hand. And arrayed him in what? Of fine linen. And put a gold chain about his neck. Next scripture. And made him ride. In the second Rolls Royce, the second Mercedes Benz, which he had, and they cried before him, bowed the knee, and he made him Lord over all the land of Egypt. My God. La ba 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 sa. Somebody say it's going to be a year of sudden rises. But you see, Joseph is a prepared man. Joseph is a prepared man. Joseph has a solution. Joseph has just been serving his solution in a small place. Joseph has just been serving his solution in a dungeon. Joseph has just been serving his solution in a dark place. Hallelujah. Blessed be the, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, it's my time. Somebody say, it's my turn. It's my turn. Lift your hands up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. It's the time. Hallelujah. It's the time when the small man who has a great solution, 2018 is his year. I said 2018 is his year. 2018 is his year. Because the problems of the earth. I said the problems. God is scheduling problems. To bring Joseph out. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I said Joseph is coming out. My God. So the second thing. is a year. Where the master. And the slave shall dance as one. It's the year where the master and the slave shall sit at the table of brotherhood. Hallelujah. They shall sit where? At the table of brotherhood. Man, they go shake it. Oh, hallelujah. I saw a vision. And in the vision I saw from a slave and from a master. 
sitting at a boardroom and they were one. Jesus. They were partners. Rekatabashai. Hallelujah. I mean, they were one. Some say they were one. Some say they were one. And then the Lord spoke the next thing to me. Hallelujah. Next mystery. He said, the year of 2017 shall be a year of new wars. New wars. New wars. W-A-R-S. New wars. He says, there shall be new wars on the earth. It's going to be a year of war. Jesus. La ba 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 she. A year of war. He says, there are three types of war there's going to be in 2018. He says, number one, let's turn to Exodus chapter 15 verse 2. He says, the Lord is a man of war, the Lord of hosts is his name. He says, this is a year where I am going to fight through my people to take new territory. Amen. He says, my people are going to rise up and they're going to fight. To take new territory because I am a man of war and I'm going to release the anointing for war among my people. I'm going to do what? Release the anointing for war among my people. Hallelujah. Then he spoke something else to me. Okay, let's turn to the next scripture. La Bravo Sheikh. Hallelujah. Okay, let's turn to the one in James. Okay, then what next? Hallelujah. Let's turn to James chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Okay, let's read it together. He says, From warrants cometh wars and fighting among you. Come that hence even of your lusts, that war in your members. You lost what you have not. You kill and you desire to have, and you cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you have not, because you ask. The Lord said, He said, In 2018, the lust of humanity shall become fully mature. He says, and wars born out of pure lust shall ignite on the face of the earth. He says, wars that have never erupted before shall erupt. He says, this is a year when country shall fight country based on pure lust. He says, the lust of humanity will mature in 2013. And the lust shall produce war. He says, you will see war. He says, you will see strife. So let me tell you. The war drums are beating. Akatata. Let me tell you, there shall be major fighting and war on the planet. It's going to escalate 2018. The Lord said, He says, it's not only going to escalate between nation and nation, it's going to escalate between corporation and corporation, family and family, person and person. He says, because the lost of humanity has matured. Jesus. Says humanity has now got to a stage where it will fight you purely because what is lost? Lost is an itch for what is forbidden to you. Lost is an itch for what is not yours, what you should not have, and what you should not do. He says, loss. And God says, when loss has conceived, it will bring forth sin. Let me tell you, loss for power, loss for other people's property, you ain't seen nothing yet. You are going to read of stuff. You are going to see. Let me tell you, pray for world peace, take that off your prayer point. I'm telling you as a prophet, world peace is going to be war war there's going to be fighting on every level that's why god told me he says if my people do not understand spiritual warfare let me tell you this year they will gobble you up because the restraint on humanity the restraint on humanity let me tell you it's gone Even in beautiful Barbados, you're going to see crimes of lust. He, say, he says, you kill because you lost. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you. 
This is a year. You better do spiritual warfare. That's why in our conference, we're going to have a school of warfare. You better understand because this year, if you do not know how to defend what God has given you, let me tell you, let me tell you. It's, it's, this is the beginning. I said, it's the beginning. The countdown, the countdown to Katabasha, the countdown to Armageddon has begun. Trust me. I said, trust me. I was taken in the realm of the spirit. Labreseve. Pray in the spirit. I was taken in the realm of the spirit. Labrobosekete. And when I was taken in the realm of the spirit, I was in the spirit. And an angel came and gave me a scroll. And the scroll put the destruction of Tripoli. I said the destruction of Tripoli. And, and as I started to pray, I said, what is this? And the angel of the Lord spoke to me and said, son of man, prophesy. He says, prophesy. Le Broboche. That from Tripoli, destructive forces shall gather. They shall gather like they did in Iraq. Oh, Brahmande Shekeya. And from Tripoli shall come Menda Gosevre Pepeya. A dark cloud that shall hit the planet. Man Broboboto. Watch Libya. Mange Seke Take it. And I was taken in the realm of the spirit. I was taken in the spirit. I was taken in the spirit. And the Lord showed me and I was taken to Egypt. And when I was taken to Egypt, I saw written on the desert strife and conflict. And the Lord said, Egypt, oh my God. Egypt says there shall be watch that place, Egypt. Strife and conflict. And I saw in the realm of the spirit people with 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 uh, with uh, with with like riot gear or police like SWAT teams in Egypt. La ma 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 masha. Hallelujah. What those two places? Libya and Egypt. Mande Serea. Mandere Bosokorobosea. Rakata Mama Shaya. Reta Bobobosha. Hallelujah. 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 There was ISIS that rose. Hallelujah in Iraq. Watch. What shall rise from Libya? Iya Baba Bashaya. Le kataba so vre bide. Le man do she vre pekea. Le bra pa 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 hai. Le kataba ba. For when the Americans went into Libya, they did not know what they did was they troubled the forces. I said they troubled the forces. They troubled the forces that were in Libya. And now those forces are going to be loosed. From those forces have come a type of slavery that humanity had forgotten about. But worse more is going to come. La Bababashea. For there is a gathering of evil powers there. Ise Katababai. Renta Mande Shevre Ketegeshia. La Mamane Sevetebese. So earth is going to be very scary for people. It's going to burn hot like an oven. And it's going to affect a lot of stuff. This year, for those who don't know how to walk in the anointing, walk in the power of God, let me tell you, it shall be for the world, for many people, it shall be a most terrible year. Because it's a year of war. Hallelujah. I haven't got to our part yet. I'm prophesying about the world. I said I'm prophesying about the nations. I said I'm prophesying about the nations. La bra bobo shika la basai. Le bra mo nde sheve de bo bo siya. La mamo shika tabasai. Hallelujah. So watch those two places. Libya and Egypt. Le ma mo seve ata bo bo se. Ra adasi to bo bo she. Hallelujah. And then the Lord spoke another scripture to me. Let's go to the one before. Okay, Revelation 12. So, so the second war is the war of lust. And the third war is the war of the demonic. The war of lust is not the war of the demonic, you know. Do you know demons? Demons. Lust is not a demon. There is no demon of lust. 
That's why when you bind it, it doesn't go. Lust is just a desire for a forbidden. Right now, there is a cake in the house that I have a lust for. It is forbidden for me to eat that cake. Is there a demon? I have an itch for the cake. In fact, I can cut it and just eat the whole thing. Are you with me? It's an itch for what is not good for you. It is not a demon. Lust will open you to a demon. Are you with me? Lust will do what? Open you to a demon. Lust is not something you bind. It's something you purge out of you. Lust gives you a taste for what is forbidden. Right now, I can taste the cake. The white flower on my lips. I can taste it. With me? And let me tell you, it tastes what? Good. But I am not supposed to take it. But it still feels good. That's called what? Loss. That means I've, been, I've not been delivered from my loss yet. Pray for me. Shake at When you're delivered from lust, you no longer have the appetite for it. But if you have the appetite for it, that means you have in you what? Lost. A person is tempted when an opportunity to sin connects with the lost. Mm -mm -mm. So you may have lost inside of you and you don't know, but Satan knows. <laughs> I said what? Satan knows. Is this an itch for what is not for you? So, the war of the demonic is different from the war produced by lust. Jesus. Am I helping somebody here? It says, and there, and the great red dragon was cast out. Hallelujah. That serpent called the devil. Let's read together. And Satan, which deceiveth the whole earth. And he was cast into the earth. And his angels were cast down with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come what? And strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuses them before God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of the testament, and they loved their life not unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that his time is but short. So it tells us, the closer to the end of the era of the devil. Because the devil knows when his scheduled time is over. The Bible says that when his scheduled time is over, one angel comes and takes the devil and puts him in the bottomless pit. One angel. So the devil works according to time. And he knows that prophetic time has accelerated because the signs of our day is fulfilling his mandate. He has announced Jerusalem. I said, he has announced Jerusalem. We recognize Jerusalem. And nations are taken because the Bible says, and the nation shall unite against Jerusalem. It says, Jerusalem shall be a cup of drunkenness to the world. In that day, Shaka Babasa, we are here now. Some say we're here now. We're here now. Jesus. And President Donald Trump is fulfilling his mandate. He was raised up for Jacob's sake. He was raised up for Israel's sake. He's fulfilling his part. La Baba. So you need to read things and understand things from the prophetic scriptures because the prophetic the hour has now come so there shall be 
talk about the war of the demonic. We have seen 2007 demons. You haven't seen demons yet. The way they're going to manifest in 2018. Hey! Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. The demonic shall become ferocious because of the countdown. Because certain aspects in prophetic timing have been hit. It's like when, when John the Baptist was born, you know the Messiah is about to come. Well, let me tell you. Once Jerusalem, what happened with Jerusalem happened. I have studied the prophetic scriptures for 20 years. I know them. What happened was a huge thing in the game of the Spirit. Huge thing in the game of the Spirit. Huge thing. Sacred. And the battle lines have been drawn. I said what? The battle lines have been drawn. Shevra Basa. She was grasp this. Now, Shevra Bada. La Brabada, sir. What belongs to us now as saints? Because in the nations, it's a year of what? Tell me. What's the first year? The year of what? Disruptive innovations. Some say a year of what? Disruptive innovations. That means people shall lose jobs because of the advent of new technology. Number two. It's a year when what? The master and the former slave shall dance as one. <laughs> it's a year of the rise of Joseph. That's a good year for us. Amen? I said what? It's a good year for us. Hallelujah. Number three. It's a year of new wars. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, in this year, if you are not, if the Lord is not fighting through you, you are going to be fighting a defensive battle. <laughs> this year, everybody is going to be in warfare. He says, Lord spoke to me, he says, this year, every person, because the earth is going to go into war. Now, have you noticed that in 2017, anytime you read the news, somebody is fighting somebody. Well, let me tell you, 2018, 2017 was their sparring. 2018 is all bridal war. And guess what? You yourself would have your own war. But if you flow with the anointing, it will be a war to take new territory. If you don't flow with the anointing, let me tell you, it will be a war to keep what you have got. <laughs> so you decide what kind of war you're going to fight. Either a war of defense or a war of what? Offense. Let me tell you something. I saw into the election. The Barbados election. Hey. Let me tell you. Thou has not seen an election like this. It's going to be all, all, every manner of wickedness and nastiness and war. This is going to be a kitchen fight. Where they fight until they take off each other's clothes. This is a nail, this is a nail crunching fight. This is a, 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 a scratching fight. This is a kitchen fight. This election? Era Baba Sai. Le Mama Mashi. La Gra Sovete de Shede. La Ba Sovete de Shede. Leka nambo sevre beteshe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I shall talk to you more about the election during the conference. Today's just introduction. Amen? Now, what do we have to do as the saints? What do we have to do as the saints? Hallelujah. Because the Lord spoke to me about us and about the year. For the saints, it's going to be an awesome year. Some say awesome. awesome. Let's go back to the first scripture. Hallelujah. Oh, let's go back. Hallelujah. 
Let's turn to Malachi chapter 4, verse 1 and 3. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn like an oven, and all the proud here, all that do wickedly, they shall become stubborn. And the day that cometh shall burn them, saith the Lord of hosts. And he shall not leave them neither root nor branch, but unto you that fear my name. Hallelujah. So the spirit of the fear of the Lord must enter into the heart of the saints. What is the fear of the Lord? Is a reverence for who he is. Is a respect for who he is. There are men and women who love God, who believe that God loves them, but they do not fear the Lord. You must know the Lord love of God and the terror of God. For they are those that only speak about the love of God. And because they only speak about the love of God, they do not bridle themselves. They do not harness themselves because they just look at the love of God. But if you are just looking to God for his love to forgive you, for his love to release you, for his love to heal you, and you do not respect his terror, that you don't know that the God that you serve is a God that is burning up the wicked where by root and stubble that he is uprooting the wicked from the planet he is executing judgment on the men and women and the titans that have done wicked things that he's exposing them that he's bringing them down ha, ha, if you do not understand that men that have hidden oh, all the wicked women that have hidden all wicked things that he's judging them and you do not fear the Lord your judge then you will not qualify because the Bible says for unto those that fear his name shall the son of righteousness the word righteousness is the word justice is the word that means the God it means a righteous judge it means someone who executes judgment on behalf of the oppressed so he says that when the sun when the light of God's judgment rises on you so this is a year of judgment but if he judges you he can judge you that you're wicked if he judges that you're wicked then you'll be burnt like stubble he will burn your branches what do your branches mean that he will burn what you've produced but not only would he burn what you produce he will burn your root that means he will burn even what produced it that means he will destroy you totally he will turn you into ashes but there is also another set of people who when the son of righteousness when the light of righteousness rises upon them that their judgment shall be good I said their judgment shall be good he says and the son of righteousness shall arise with what healing in his wings so there are people who have been oppressed. The people who have been oppressed. It's a year for the rising of oppressed people. It's a year of rising of people that have been, hallelujah, in the shadows. It's a year when Joseph shall arise. It's a year when the son of righteousness shall rise upon Joseph. That's the year. That's is the year. It says, but unto you that fear my name. So in order for you to walk in the anointing of this year, you need to walk in the fear of the Lord. You need to fear the Lord. You need to fear the judgment side of God because the judgments of God are on the earth. <coughs> the judgments of God are on the earth. La And these judgments are exposing people these judgments would destroy people. These judgments would, would cause companies, nations, hallelujah, governments to fold. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. So there shall be a healing. Hallelujah. For when you go through oppression, there are things in you that get what? Broken. There are things in you that get what? Destroyed. There are things in you that get what? Handicapped. But healing shall arise. Is there somebody who's looking for the Lord to release healing on them? Hallelujah. Is there somebody who's looking? He says the Lord shall execute judgment on behalf of the oppressed Amen. oh hallelujah he says and you shall go out and go up as calves of the stall he says and you shall go out and you shall go out the word there is the word yada 
It says, and you shall yada. The word yada means to escape. Hallelujah. So the first thing the Lord spoke to me, he said, uh, when they said the first anointing of 2018 is the Yada anointing. It's the year to go out of oppression. It's the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the anointing to be released from prison. So Joseph was what? Released. The word means you shall go out. It says you shall go out as calves in a stall. What does that mean? Oh, how many have seen a calf that's in a stall? It is contained in that stall. It cannot move, but it's been fed. It's a big fat calf, but it cannot move to the side. It cannot move here. It is contained. But when the calf is released, God said, I have been feeding you in a secret place. But in 2018, I shall release you. So 2018, there is a yada anointed. It's an anointing to release those who have been captive. Oh, hallelujah. Those of you who have been captive uh, by not enough money, there shall be a yada. You shall escape out of mediocrity. Oh, the word yada is the same word that's used. It says, and the children of Israel, they shall yada Egypt uh, with plenty. That means they shall escape Egypt with what? Plenty. Hallelujah. Somebody say the yada anointing. So it's a year of escape. It's a year of escape. Hallelujah. Some of you are fat cows in a small place. Lakata bashata. Oh, hallelujah. Some of you are what? Fat cows in a small place. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But the fat cows are about to be what? Released. He says, what does it feel like when a cow is released from the stall? Jesus. It says, ye shall yada. You shall what? Yada. Say, you shall what? Yada. Somebody say, the yada anointing. Yada anointing. It says, and you shall yada. And it says, you shall grow up as calves of the stall. Oh boy. The word grow up is a Hebrew word that's pronounced push. <laughs> it's called what? Push. And the Lord said, that's the push anointing. What does that mean? It means to spread. <laughs> he said, you shall break out. You shall yada. Then after you yada, you shall spread. <laughs> that means you shall do what? Multiply. That means your influence shall do what? Spread. So the Lord spoke to me. He said, the yada anointing shall join with the push anointing. My God. He said, the yada anointing shall join with the push anointing. He says, you shall break out and you shall do what? Grow. He said, you shall do what? Expand. He said, you shall do what? You shall become bigger. He said, so when the cow leaves the stall, the cow cow is going to get what? Fatter. The cow is going to get bigger. Oh my God. Somebody is going to not only break out, somebody's influence is going to spread. I was caught up in a vision. I was caught up in a vision. Hallelujah. I saw a cup. A cup of anointing. And it was a cup of DVA. It was a cup of fresh anointing wisdom network. And the cup turned over. The cup overflowed. And when the cup overflowed, the cup spilled on a map. And when it spilled on a map, the anointing went through Barbados. And it went, started going to countries. And the Lord spoke to me. He says the year of 2018 shall be the year of the overflow and the spread. I said, what does it mean? A year of the overflow. He says, because it's a year when the Yada anointing shall connect with the push anointing. Lord Bagata. Hey, that means the Yada anointing. Yada is big enough. But when you get breakout and expansion, my God. Who? Oh, push is what? Expansion. Somebody say, I'm going to expand. Jesus. As the Lord told me, he says, that's not all I'm going to do. He says, this year, there are three anointings that are going to come together. He says, these three anointings are the anointings that's going to cause the overflow. He says, the Yada anointed shall connect with the push anointed. And he says, what else? He says, and you shall tread down the wicked. He, he says, you shall tread down the wicked. And they shall become ashes under your feet. He says, he says, son... He says, son, 
Why do you think I could release you? I can only release you because I gave you an anointing to tread down your enemies. Jesus. I gave you what? An anointing to tread down your enemies. I gave you an anointing to beat down your enemies. This is a year when there is an anointing. And the word there, do you know what the word there is? He said, and you shall tread down. Do you know what the Hebrew word there is? It's the word called asas. A-S-A-S. From which you get the word assassin. And the Lord said, this is the assassin anointing. He says the anointing to do what? Tread down. To tread down your enemies and beat them under, beat them into ashes. Somebody is going to beat poverty into ashes. Somebody is going to beat death into ashes. Somebody is going to beat loneliness into ashes. Somebody is hala. Somebody is going to turn some witches into ashes. Jesus. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says you shall tread down. So this it's the worst year possible for your enemies. Because this is a year when you have the assess anointing. Now the Lord spoke to me. An angel came to me when I was fasting. My 14 day fast. And the Lord said, I am giving you a license to kill. I said, what? He said, I'm giving you a license to kill. He said, but, the, but it begins January 1st. He says, I say, what is that? He says, it's the Asas anointing. He says, it's he says, you shall be able under this anointing. You shall be able to kill anything that stands in the way of your expansion and your yada. Oh my God. If you stand, if you stand against my yada, if you stand against my push, if you stand against my expansion, my words shall destroy. This is a ferocious year. Jesus. It's a ferocious year. And the Lord said, He said, the overflow shall be because. These three anointings shall mix. Yada, push, and assas. <laughs> Somebody say yada. Somebody say push. Somebody say assas. Yada anointing. There are people in the Bible, all God gave them was the yada anointing. The other anointing is to break out of any containment you're in. When Israel was delivered out of Egypt, the Bible called it Yada. But it's not just Yada. There's another anointing called multiply. When God multiplies you, that means he multiplies your business. That means he multiplies your anointing. That means he multiplies your influence. That means he makes you bigger in Cayman Islands, in Singapore, and in Japan. That means he expands your territory. That means he does what? That is why every ministry, that's why it is the time for glory invade to do what? Push. Hey, hey. It's time for glory invade to do what? Expand. Hey. The ministries are going to expand. And you know what God told me? He said, this year, this year, are you ready for this? Every pastor in this church shall be released to pastor satellite assembly. <laughs> oh, yes. You are going to have your own satellite assembly. Did we? You're going to have your own satellite assembly. Because it's a year of what? It's a year of what? Spread. It says a year of what? Overflow and what? Spreading. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, create church planting teams. And the Lord spoke to me. He says, the team, he says, the team will have seven people or seven roles. He says, there will be a satellite pastor. There will be an evangelist. Yeah, 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 yeah. He says, there will be a teacher. Someone can teach the word. He says there will be a prayer leader. He says there will be a praise and worship leader. There will be a deacon. There will be an usher. He says when you bring them, you send them. So right now, so from Tuesday, we're going to begin planning. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. 
Let me tell you. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You, it's the year of the spread. It's the year of what? The spread. The anointing of what? The spread. Hey, hey, hey. So evangelists, you think you all got to gather in what's in? Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Each of you is going to be given an assembly. Rakatabashat. Who? Each one is going to be given as assembly. You think you ministers are just going to stand here and say, I just give announcements? Bless the Lord. You're going to be assigned to an assembly. There are going to be four assemblies. Monday, baby, shut up, baby. Or you think you're just going to say, Oh, great preaching, Pastor High. No, boy. It's time somebody said, Great preaching to you, too. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, nah, bah, bah. It's the year of the spread. Hey. It's the year. So let me tell you, there's going to be an expansion. And Tuesday, we begin planning. Shaka Taba. We've already begun praying. Jesus. The Lord has told me where everybody's going to go. Hey, hey, hey. I already have the word. My, my, my. Hallelujah. Hey, you think you're, you think you're pastor for nothing? You think you're evangelist for nothing? You think you're minister for nothing? You have been in this house and you're a fat cow now. Hallelujah. Hey, yeah, ba, 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 sha. You're a fat cow in the stall. Hey, man. Hallelujah. It's time for you to get released. Amen. Hey. It's time for the fat cows to get released. Rakata, ba, sha, kata, ya, ba, ba, sha. Shika, ba, ba, sha. Mm-mm-mm. Le, bra, se, vete, she, te. It's a year of what? Overflow and what? Spread. The anointing of this church must now do what? Spread. Amen. It's going to spread over Barbados. We're going to be on Wednesday. We're going to be in four places. Now, we're not planning for this in September. When we meet on Tuesday, we're going to start planning immediately. The Lord has told me the first, the first, the first one is going to be Pastor Dedry. So get ready. Here. The second one is going to be you. Pastor Juanita. Le Braba Sheka. He say Ketebe say. Hey, hey. And then Pastor John, you're staying here. In Sentinel. Okay, that's what God told me. Je vraba kasa hai. Je va adamande ste. Le kataba shevede. Hey, mam bam bandasan. And then ministers. Where are my ministers? Where are my ministers? Let me see the evangelists. Where are the evangelists? Evangelists all stand up. Let the evangelists stand up. As, let all the evangelists stand up. Stand up. Evangelist. You see? How many evangelists do we have? How many? Four. Well, let me tell you. Each one. Each one is going to be assigned to a church. And they have to be doing crusades. It's the, it's the year of what? The spread. Jesus. Where are my ministers who can teach the word? Stand up. Ministers, stand up. Well, get ready. You're all going to be assigned. They're going to be what? Assigned. La brabasha katabas. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. So what I'm saying to you is this. The year of what? Overflow and what? Spreading. So there's going to be a spreading of the anointing. So DVA, now guess what? This church, this ministry, our anointing is going to spread around the Caribbean and the nations of the world. Greater than at any other year. I am going to be traveling a lot. Because there's going to be what's spreading. But not only I is spreading, you are spreading. The anointing of the anointing on the choir is also going to do what? Spread. That's why I smiled when we went to that and I said, Wow, this is in the anointing of the year. Because the anointing of the year is a year where God is this church anointed? 
it is time the anointing guess what the anointing was inside joseph in the prison in a small place but the anointing needed to do what the anointing needed to do what spread this year is a year of the word spread now the what is going to make the anointing spread is god is going to give each of us a yada injection someone say yada injection then he's going to give us what a push injection that's injection to do what expand jesus then he's going to give us what to deal with our enemies he's going to give us what a assass hey, hey. somebody say assass boy this is a year where you can invite the witch to come to your house because the anointing to assassinate them will be there shakata basai oh lord hey yeah 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 you shall tread the enemy what under your feet until it becomes what ashes says in that day i will do it so this is the year where it's a year of judgment jesus Woo! do you grasp what i'm preaching to you today do you grasp the year this is the year let me tell you i've been waiting for this year this is a year where you break out. If you have been contained by some dead end job, my God, this is the year of what? Yada. Hey! hey. Woo. Hallelujah! Some people are going to break out of some what? Some dead end jobs. Amen. My God. Amen. Jesus. They're going to do what? Yada. The anointing, the yada anointing. Jesus contained Joseph was yadad out of prison then he his influence did what expand if you're Potiphar's wife when you heard that Joseph was made prime minister what are you going to do you're going to go on holiday to your family in Siberia <laughs> and not come back <laughs> hallelujah are you with me this is the year let's stand jesus my god my god who's excited about this year somebody say yada somebody say push now, this is what God told me. God told me, he said, Son, I raised you up to raise up a church that I can marry. <laughs> That's what he told me. He said, There are others who would release the anointing on people's lives including you it says but for the anointing of the times i've given you a mandate to release the anointing of the times he says and you shall prophesy to nations and you shall go to nations and you shall release this anointing this is a year when all my leaders must rise up All my leaders must do what? Rise up. Every fat cow. I said every fat cow. Must be released from the stall. Hey, can somebody shout hallelujah? Every fat cow must experience what? Somebody say yada. Jesus. Well, uh, my wife, check the mic. We need to do some praying now. We need to pray these three things into our lives. Amen? We need to declare. So you need to declare over your life. You need to declare. This, this year, the three most important words for you this year. 
Ayada. Push and assess. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Somebody say, Yada. Push and assess. Three Hebrew words that describe this scripture. And you shall go out. You shall go forth and grow as calves of the storm. And you shall tread down the wicked. The wicked means wicked demons and wicked people. There was a year where you had to put up with your wicked boss. This year, you will tread him down like ashes. This year is not a year of long suffering for your wicked boss. This is a year when you pray, he will get a sass. You see, because you see, you need to understand. He says, and ye shall tread down the wicked, they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in that day, that in the day that I will do this. This is the day. I guarantee you now, you turn on the news every day, you're going to see somebody who is roasting in the oven of judgment. Because the judgments are on the earth. Let me tell you. This is not a day to put your hand in the cookie jar. Are you telling me? You, you, if you understand, this is, this is not a day for it. <laughs> because judgment is what? On the earth. You need to understand the times. But judgment is not, judgment is not a bad thing for everybody. Judgment means God is going to tilt the balance and make wrongs right. So a type of judgment is when God makes what? Wrongs right. And he takes people who are down and he brings them up, takes people up and he brings them down. He rebalances everything. Jesus. So, we're going to pray now, my wife. So, we're going to pray about Yada. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Okay, so let's pray this. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive your prophetic word. I receive your prophetic word. For the year. For the year. A year of overflow. For the year of overflow. Because. Because. Of the Yada anointing. Of the Yada anointing. Because of the push anointing. Because of the push anointing. Because of the Assas anointing. Because of the Assas anointing. And because of that overflow. And because of that overflow, my influence shall spread. My influence shall spread. My money shall spread. My money shall spread. My peace shall spread. My peace shall spread. My joy shall spread. My joy shall spread. The goodness of God in my life shall spread. The goodness of God in my life shall spread. This is a year. This is a year of expansion. Of expansion. I decree. I decree. 2018. 2018. My year. My year. Of overflow. Of overflow. Of overflow. Of overflow. And spreading. And spreading. In the name. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Raise your voices and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Our year, O God, overflow maso Overflow anointing in the name of Jesus. Ashia Karababaso in the name of Jesus, O Tia Marco Tia Katia, Esha Tarababasia Kanama Masata, overflow anointed in the name of Jesus, Ashako 
They are that anointed in the name of Jesus. They are that akashia korababasia karababasata over DBA in the name of Jesus. Over every minister kata koshatatia. Over every minister. Over every pastor. Over every leader in the name of Jesus. They are that kasia babasia katia. They are that kasio korababasata in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare. I, I declare. And I receive. And, and I receive. The Yada anointing. The Yada anointing. Over my life. Over my life. I decree. I decree. 2018. 2018. I experience. I experience. Yada. Yada. Break out. Break out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Start praying the Holy Ghost. In the Koshia Karababasata. In the name of Jesus. Break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. Begin to pray, people. Break out. Break out. Break out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break out. Anointed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Raise your voices. Begin to pray. We step into 2018 roaring like lions in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to identify what you need to experience Yada in. Jesus. Who can tell me what is Yada? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, Yada is what? Break out. Break, break out. Another word for Yada is what? Escape. Escape. So, Yada, it says, you shall break out like a calf from a stall. So, what do you have to break out from? So, I want you to think of it in your mind. When you start declaring that 2018, I shall do what? I shall experience what? Yada. I shall do what? Break out. Hallelujah. Break out. I mean, for some of you, you need to break out from a family curse. Break out. Break out. You need to break out from a romantic curse. So if you need to break out from a financial curse, there's the all types of things. So 2018 is the year where you break out. You escape. So let's declare it. My wife, lead, lead them. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. Yada. 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 Out of. Out of every prison, every prison, every containment, every containment that I am in, that I am in, like Joseph, like Joseph, I break out, I break, I break out. out. 2018, 2018, my year, my year, a breakout, a breakout. In the name of Jesus, 2018, 2018, our breakout year, our breakout year, our breakout. In the name of Jesus, raise your voice so that you can pray the spirit, pray the spirit. In the name of Jesus, 2018, I will break up here. I will break up here. I will individual break up here. I will individual break up here. I will ministry break up here. In the name of Jesus, I will break up here. Break out anointing of us here, Take us to 2018. Take us to 2018. In the name of Jesus. Ababa Basia Kashiata Yakatia. E Kashiara Baba Sata. In the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 What's the name of 2018? What's the name of the year? The year of what? Overflow. Overflow and Overflow what? And spread. spread. Can somebody shout it? 2018 is the year of what? Overflow and spread.
Why is it a year of overflow? Hallelujah. Because of what? The Yada anointing. Yes. It's mixed with what? The push anointing. Now, yes. Now let's and the assass anointing. Jesus. So let's now pray push. Push. Jesus. What is push? To expand. Expand. <laughs> Jesus. To grow exponentially. Jesus. To become a big man. Jesus. It literally means to become a big woman. To become a mega fat cow. <laughs> Java Vada Basai. Woo. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus I decree. I decree that in 2018. That in 2018. I experience. I experience the push anointing. The push anointing. I grow. I grow. I expand. I expand. I spread. I spread. I become big. I become big. I become large. I become large. I become too big to miss. I become too big to miss. I become too big to escape. I become too big to escape. The notice of people. The notice of people. I'm the light of the Jesus. world. I'm, I'm the light of the world. world. I'm a city set on a hill. I'm a city set on a hill. That cannot be hid. That cannot be hid. I decree this. I decree this. In the name of Jesus. In the, In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're going to expand, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shaka. Hallelujah, Baba Sata. Hallelujah, somebody. If you're going to expand, receive the expansion anointing. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Ayata ya shiata. Ishiata ya shiata. Ashiata ya baba sata. Ikashiata baba sata. In the name of Jesus. Ada da 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 siata. Ashiata da 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 siata. Ashiata da 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 siata. Ayata baba baba siata. Ashiata baba baba sata. The anointing is here right now. In the name of Jesus. Ayata baba sata. Ayata baba sata. Ikashiata baba sata. Ayata da siata. Ashiata ya da 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 siata. Ikashiata baba baba sata. In the name of Jesus. We gonna spread us, Tata. Ekashiata. We gonna spread us, spread us, spread us, Tata. Spread us, Baba Tata. Expand it here. 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 Expand it here, Baba Tata. Expand it here, Tata. Expand it here, Tata. Ekashiata, Baba Tata. Ekoshiata, Baba Tata. Ena matiyo kote. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. The anointing for expansion is in this place. Oh, Baba Tia, Baba Kata. Oh, Baba Tia, Tia Kashiata. Oh, Baba Tia, Tia Kaya. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Aya Ya Da Ya, Aya Da Ya Kasha, Aya Kasha Ya Ya, Aya Kasha Tia Tia Kaya. Ebe Siokote Amasia, Eko Basia Karabasate. Receive 
somebody. Receive it, somebody. Receive it in this place. Receive it, somebody. Receive it in this place. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Now, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord Lord spoke to me and it's going to take me three months to unpack everything God showed me in this revelation. But it suffice to tell you, the Lord told me, he said, he said, this is what the scripture says. He says, ye shall, what he says, he says, let's go here. He says, but unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing his wings. He says, and you shall what? Go forth. Go forth is what? Yada. You shall go forth. That is, you shall escape. You shall break out. And grow. As calves of the stall. That means like calves that were released from their stall. Hallelujah. My friend, Sean Tudor, knows what I'm talking about because they have a lot of of animals locked up in stalls. (laughs) What do the animals do when they're freed? My God. They escape. My God. They do what? So, So it says, you shall escape. You understand that? You shall do what? You shall break out. Joseph was a calf in a stall. And he broke out. And when he broke out, he did what? He spread. The Lord said, he said, you cannot break out and spread without me killing your enemies. He says, that's why I put this here. I said, and you shall do what? Trade down. What? You shall trade down what? The wicked. For they shall be what? Ashes under the soles of your feet. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now. Hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit told me, he says, go check the word for that. When I check the word trade down, it's the word what? Assas. A-S-O-S. From which you get the word assassin. And the Lord said, this is the year of the assassin anointing. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, the reason for the overflow is that yada anointing shall mix with push anointing mixed with assassin anointing. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a year your enemies wish had never come. So we're now going to release Asas. Because there are some people who will not let you go. But they shall die this year. Jesus, hallelujah. No, this year is a bad year for them. <laughs> I said this year is a bad year for them. There are some demons that you shall destroy of your life. There are some spirits that you shall... Hey, do you know what the word says? It says, they shall become what? Ashes under your feet. That means, you know, there's a, there's a Jamaican comedy that says, kill me dead. That means, he's only dead. How can you kill him dead? That means, my God, that means, kill me dead. Hey. <laughs> kill me dead. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means, it's dead and you're still killing it. That means, it is dead, but you chop it to bits, then you fry it. <laughs> then you, then it becomes ashes under your feet. That's how you're going to defeat the enemy this year. So right now, my wife, we need to pray a ferocious assassin prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every enemy. Every enemy that stood against me. That stood against me. In 2017. In 2017. To contain me. 
to contain me. To contain my breakthrough. To contain my breakthrough. To contain the breakthrough of this ministry. To contain the breakthrough of this ministry. To contain the breakthrough of my life. To contain the breakthrough of my life. To contain the growth of my life. To contain the growth of my life. To stop my breakout. To stop my breakout. To stop my spreading. To stop my spreading. Demonic. Demonic. Or human. Are human in the name Jesus. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the assassin anointing. By the power of the assassin anointing. I turn you to ashes under my feet. I turn, I turn you to ashes under my feet. Stop praying. In the name of Jesus. Ashes under our feet now. In the name of Jesus. Every devil, every devil that's been chained to my destiny. Ashes under my feet. Begin to put the devil under your feet now. In the name in the name of Jesus, by the fire of God, by the fire of God, begin to put the devil under your feet. Every enemy, every enemy that came against your destiny, put them under your feet now, under your feet now. In the name of Jesus, make them ashes under your feet. Ashes, I see somebody say ashes under my feet. In the name of Jesus, somebody say ashes under my feet. The devil is ashes under my feet. In the name of Jesus, every contamination. In the name of Jesus, every destruction, every failure, in the name of Jesus, every pulling down, in the name of Jesus, every torment, every Sunday, 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 Hallelujah. Ashes under our feet in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we shall not be boxing. In the name of Jesus, we shall not be contained. In the name of Jesus, under our feet. Hallelujah. 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 Kashia Kamaka. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus is Lord in this place tonight. Jesus is Lord of this place. Jesus is Lord of our lives. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I know the description of Asas. Oh, my God. It's when a man or my woman God, my God, my God. treads grapes Jesus. and stamps on them like this. Jesus, yes. That's to stamp on your enemy. Yes. Jesus. Tread him down. Mow him down. Jesus. Labasis. Oh, I feel this year. It's a year of our victory. Labrane se de break at a ras of break at a man. Labrone se kida brakito se ke shedi da baya. Lambrome de shake a lift your hands a break at a kasai. Jevreba a koto bo se break a take a dia. Jevava va 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 a bo se vreba kata. Everybody stay where they are. Reda mando se gre go te se ve de beya. Lebrina and Ziko toko shake a The winds of the spirit are on me. Man de ga sarka. And my spirit has been lifted. Bre basegeshe, 
lifted, 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 Brahman do koshe, to see what shall be. To see what shall be. Laran do segeteria, lebra sevechedia. And as I stand in this place in the spirit, I see breka tapadai. Ha, ah, newspapers. I see newspaper flashes. I see news flashes. Lebra seve kere kuziga. And the angel of the Lord brings me closer. Legan zeve betedize. And I see. Lobe be kede korobosia. Lega bose bre kede kashia. Lemban de seve to brobe. Lege iso dere 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 dere. Lobo sidie. Manda soko de shevea. Lebra seve de gede kere. Ha ha ha. And I see a year, a year of disruptive innovations. A year where the master and the former slave dance as one. A year where they sit at the table of brotherhood. A year of new walls. Laba seve kere. And I see Leba bo seve kere dede. Ha, who? The newspapers. And I'm seeing job layoffs. I'm seeing large scale layoffs. Large scale layoffs. Large scale layoffs in some of the most powerful economies because of disruptive innovation. Because of disruptive innovation. Lebras, the Sharia. Ha! And then I see in the newspaper, ha ha ha, I see names of people that we never know. I see names of companies that we never know. And they shall rise like Joseph out of the place of containment. And they shall rise into prominence. Hallelujah. For the master and the former slave shall dance as one. Ha ha ha. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see many names. We don't know the names. I see it appear on newspapers all over the world. In different languages, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing people's names. This is a year where people who have been prepared in the shadows, they shall come and they shall step on the stage. Hallelujah. Oh, this is a glorious year for them. It's a year for Joseph. It's a year for Joseph. It's a year when Joseph is announced to Egypt and Joseph is announced to the world. Hallelujah. And then I see a year. My God. A year of great tragedy and war and the lust of wicked, the lust of mankind shall become fully mature and shall bring forth fruit. Ha! Jevevevereshe. And war shall spread from nation to nation. War between people, war between cities, war between companies. War between nations, war between regions. There shall even be a trade war. Javarai. Understand this. You were born for such a time as this. And I have prepared this time for you. For you, it's a time of Yada. For you, it's a time of push. And for you, is a time of assass treading down your enemies. Hallelujah. Wow. Lift your hands up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody stand up. Everybody lift your hands up. Jesus. For the anointing for the year is about to be poured out. See the angel of the Lord come into this place. Close your eyes as you receive. Jesus. The anointing for the year is here. Dabras. Sarai. Speak to yourself under your breath with everything they have. Say, this year, I will yada. 
I will, I will break out. This year, I will push. I will spread. I will become bigger. This year, I will assess every enemy. Every enemy that has stood against me. This year, I shall assess. Shekara. La Babasa. Boy, the Lord is strong in this place. The glory is in this place. Woo, the glory of God is in this place. My God. The anointing. Mighty anointing. Mighty anointing. People getting downloads. People getting downloads. People getting downloads. Kedabashi. Jesus. Libra Basse. Ekadasis. Edabasis. Ishebedi. Well, my folks. Edababashis. Jesus. Welcome to 2018. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to 2018. Hallelujah. Welcome to 2018. Hallelujah. We crossed over with the anointing. Hallelujah. Our year. Hallelujah. Our year. Hallelujah. Of Yada. Hallelujah. Our year. Of push. Hallelujah. Our year of assault. Our year of overflow. We are overflowing the anointing. And because of that, we spread. Jesus. My God. Shake her tongue. Hold. Hey, Baba Baba. Hey, ya Baba Baba. She Baba Baba Baba. Le Baba Seke. Jesus. Mandela Basi, Shekada Basi, Lababasi, Jesus, mighty anointing, presence of the Lord. You can you can greet each other in this anointing, in this anointing, my God. Hey, hey, hey. In DVA, we can, we can say have a yada year. Have a push here. Have an assess here. Hey, hey. Woo. Have an overflow year. It was an overflow year. Mm -mm -mm. Have an overflow year. Jesus. My God. Shakatai. Someone say, have an overflow year. Have an overflow year. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Have an overflow year. And because of the overflow of not just Yada, but push anointing, and then assess, you will certainly spread. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes. Ooh, Lord, Lord, Lord. My God. I have some things to do. But I had to do this first. At the conference, I will expand more. Okay, this is just an introduction to the revelation. Hallelujah. Before we take our offering, I have announcements. I have some divine things to do. The Lord told me that I should install John as pastor in 2018. He didn't tell me in 2017. He said to install him in when? 2018. So come. Somebody bring me some oil. Kneel down. Be your purpose. 
My wife come. Era barashish. So you're gonna get a a double whammy. Yes. Yes. I decree that as we lay hands on you, the pastor in you that was caged in like Joseph was caged, you were a caged man. You were a calf in the stall. But by this anointing, you break out. Jesus. And you spread to become the man you are always meant to be. And every enemy, Jesus, you assess them to ashes by this anointing. Now, Jesus, they Baba. Jesus. Katabasa. Jesus. Ekataba. Jesus. Hey, Abasa. So he's now Pastor John. Amen. Hey, hey. See. Assigned to Central. Hey, Ababase. Le Grace Kete. And I decree, just as God gave me a godly wife, so God gives you a godly wife. In the name of Jesus, amen. A wife that makes it easy to do the will of God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, so we now know what we're doing on Wednesday. So what's the Wednesday fast? The Wednesday fast is for your fasting to receive what? Yada. Push. And what? Assas. <laughs> you get those three things, you flow in them, boy. <laughs> You're deadly. <laughs> You're going to be bad this year. <laughs> bad in a good sense, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be a year, man. Woo! Rekata Basha. Who received the word?